Hey guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Coming on again, this is the third video I've made, so I've got the same outfit on because it's made the same day. <laughs> but anyway, I was tagged um, in a 10 question yarny tag. The, these questions were created by Crystal of Bag O'Day Crochet, and I was tagged by Donna of the Gabbing Grammy. And so um, thank you so much, Donna, for tagging me. I will put Donna's. Um, uh, YouTube channel below in the description box so you can go check her out and subscribe to her channel Okay, so let's get into these questions and I will answer them. Okay, so number one is What is your favorite color of yarn? Well, that's very hard to say but I, I, I Hard to pick out a one Yarn color, but I can give you kind of a color range I love cool colors. As you can see back there, I have lots of aqua and turquoise and um, that sort of sea colors. I love those colors. I uh, love the sea, seashore beachy colors. I also like pur purples and pinks, but I believe if I had to pick, I would have to say the cool sea beachy type colors. So like aqua turquoise. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, what is your favorite weight of yarn is number two. Okay, so I would say, uh, as you can see, the majority of my yarn is worsted weight, uh, also number three weight. So uh, it kind of a toss up between number three weight, which is like a sport weight or DK weight yarn. I really like that. It depends on the project that I'm working on. If it's an amigurumi, I usually always do the worsted weight, number four weight yarn. Uh, if it is something like for babies, sometimes I do four weight, sometimes I do three weight for worst, for baby items. But for shawls, uh, I think number three weight, sport weight or DK is very nice because it's more delicate and, and um, I think it's just prettier. Um, so, um, like I said, it depends on the project. But it, I would say number th three and number four weight yarns are my favorites. Okay, um, let's see. What is your favorite style of yarn? Okay, so uh, I believe Crystal said she likes roving yarns. Um, I just like the basic... Um, twisted strand yarns uh, I really don't care for the ones that are really fuzzy because the ones that like if you make a mistake you can't pull it out very well it gets all tangled up together uh, I really don't care for that too much um, or the ones that have the um, yeah, any like the fuzzies in it because if it gets stuck together and it's hard to unravel I don't care for that just the basic twist twisted type strand yarns okay uh, let's see, number four, what is your favorite fiber of yarn? And I would probably have to say acrylic, but maybe a soft acrylic or something, or like a cotton bamboo blend is nice if it's something really soft. Uh, I'm not really, um, the majority of the things that I do are for uh, gifts uh, that I know that they would probably be something that's would be washed a lot and so I like to use more durable type stuff and easy care type uh, yarns uh, also I do a lot of charity uh, crocheting as well and so I know that they prefer acrylics and things that are easy just to wash wash and go you know um, so I would have to say acrylics my favorite fiber I guess <laughs> okay um, what is your favorite brand that you can get easily within your country? Well, I would have to say, uh, I really like Lion Brand Heartland. Um, so Lion Brand yarns are really nice and Premier yarns as well. Um, I really like their anti-pilling yarns also. So uh, it would be kind of a tie between them two. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see, number six, what is your favorite brand that isn't easy to get within your country? Well, I don't think I've gotten anything. I've, I have never ordered from Hobium or Hobi or Hobby or how you pronounce it. Um, I do have a little bit of ice yarn that I won in a, uh, in a, um, giveaway and I really like it and I love when Krista over at the Secret Yarnery shows all that ice yarn that she orders. It's, I think that's the main uh, brand that she orders um, and um, one of these days I'll make an ice yarn order I guess um, so I, but I really am not real knowledgeable about other yarns that yarn brands that are not from here in the United States so 
I guess I'd have to say ice yarn. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, number seven, favorite yarn store that's online and favorite brick and mortar store. Okay. So my favorite yarn store online, I would have to say Premier Yarns, I guess, because I really like the fact that uh, it's got a reward. Uh, pro well, I love their yarns. Okay. And I like the, their shipping. The customer service is great. Um, I don't have any trouble with their shipping. Everything's always packaged really well. Um, and I also like the fact that they have a rewards program program where you can earn points, uh, you know, uh, credit, in other words, from ordering with them, you can order credit for more yarn, or, you know, for more purchases. Also, they have a rewards referral link that if, if you refer other people to them, then you get, um, that new person will get a discount on their first order, but also you also earn points. So, I really like the reward, uh, program. So, um, I think that's, uh, not all, um, yarn online yarn stores do that that I know of and so um, I really like that <laughs> okay um, let's see and so the next the second part of that question was my favorite brick and mortar store and I would have to say well here I have I have my um, I'm pretty close to Michael's Hobby Lobby and Joann's okay and Walmart and so I have several places that I can find yarn from um, of course not every store carries every brand you know uh, and so but I would have to say my favorite brick and mortar I'm looking down at my questions here my favorite brick and mortar store I would have to say I guess is Joann's I like Michaels but Michaels really doesn't gear toward that much yarn uh, it gears more toward paper crafting and scrapbooking and stuff like that doesn't have fabric to speak of it doesn't have um, much yarn or, or pattern books you know um, there's they have lots of paint supplies for painters and jewelry makers and you know so it depends on what project you're looking for I guess um, Walmart has very small limited amount of yarn it's, if it's a basic color and it's like red heart I'm looking for maybe I can find it there um, Hobby Lobby, I, li I love Hobby Lobby, uh, a little bit pricey on their yarn prices unless you go when they're having things clearanced out. Uh, I do like the fact they have a good fabric department, you know, and get remnant pieces of material there, or fabric. But my favorite brick and mortar store, I would have to say, for yarn would be Joann's because Joann's, for me, has got... Um, uh, you can use coupons from other stores, that's great. You can stack coupons. Well, not, not stack them, but you can use more than one coupon per item. That's awesome. You can use other stores' coupons there. That's awesome. Uh, but they do, for me, for my Joann's, well, I have, there's two that's pretty close to me. One is uh, regular size Joann, and they have a couple of aisles of yarn, pretty good selection. And then I have another one that's further from me, but still not too far. Well, 40 minutes for me maybe 35 40 minutes for me anyway it's a bigger a lot bigger Joann's and they have more yarn so I just don't go that direction um, in that part of town very often but anyway I would say Joann's <laughs> okay um, let's see uh, number eight do you keep scrap yarn if so what do you do with it yes <laughs> I feel kind of bad if I'm like if I throw away some yarn <laughs> I feel like oh I'm hurting the yarns feelings <laughs> but I do try to use uh, my scraps you know even if it's a small amount if I can get the center of granny squares I try to use them up um, yeah I try to do that and if it's snippings sometimes I'll use it as stuffing in amigurumi not always because a lot of times you don't you don't want that color to show through depends on what you're making but um, so yeah, if it's snippings, maybe I'll toss those from here, here and there. But uh, I, other than that, though, I do keep scrap yarn, and I try to use it even the small pieces for amigurumi parts, or like I said, the centers of granny squares. Anything that I can get a few stitches. If I can get a few stitches out of it, I keep it and put it into something. I really, I really try to use it up. Use it up. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your favorite thing to crochet or knit? Oh my goodness. Um, I would say 
throws probably uh, now not like big bed size afghan blankets like bed size no but like lap gans i really like making lap gans i love making amigurumis uh as well so favorite thing to to crochet or knit i would have to say either lap gans or amigurumis or baby items baby blankets that sort of thing i think those those are my favorite things um yeah <laughs> and then what is let's see that was number nine and number ten last question if you could crochet or knit one last thing for the rest of your life what would it be and what yarn would you use well if I could only crochet one more thing and then that's it could never crochet again I think it would probably be a very large um, graph gan yeah probably something like really challenging and detailed that would you know that would like go out with a bang <laughs> so yeah I would have to say that and of course I would use worst to weight yarn um, I would use um, yeah yeah that's it yeah so a graph gan that's what it would be it would well it would be a, it would be a lap blanket okay and what it would be would be a graph gan okay of some sort and the yarn I would use probably would be worst of weight yarn but something durable that would last so yeah I, I would have to say that <laughs> okay so that is the tag questions um, thank you so much for listening to my answers <laughs> and uh, thank you Donna so much for tagging me I really enjoy doing it so now I'm going to tag some people I wrote them down let me find my my notes here what I do with them okay so I want to tag four people um, to also or challenge them to do this tag because I would love to hear their answers so the first person I'm going to tag is Kim of blue cherub 82 um, she is over in the UK. I think it would be very interesting to see what her answers would be and how different they are from people in the brands of yarns and things are different where she's at. And so I would love to hear her answers and see what 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 she has available there. <laughs> okay. And then the next person I'm going to tag is Michelle of Pixie Marie Creates. Uh, I'd love to see hear your the answers to your these questions also. Uh, I want to tag Ella of No Catchy Name. Uh, I would love to hear your uh, questions to see, you know, your your questions. Since we make similar items, you and I, sometimes, <laughs> um, they may be similar or we may be totally, have totally different questions. Uh, I mean, answers to the questions. So, um, uh, I challenge you to make a video and, and I anxiously wait to see what your question I mean your answers are as well <laughs> okay and the last person I'm going to tag is Debbie of my little blue house I believe that's the name of her channel and I will link all these ladies YouTube channels below in the description box including uh, Donna who tagged me so Debbie I will uh, challenge you to answer these questions I'm anxious to see what your answers were are also and compared to all of the other people that have been doing these tag the, this tag video um, yeah doing the tag questions okay so that are the four people I'm gonna tag and of course I tag everybody if anybody else hasn't been tagged by somebody but they want to do the questions please feel free to do so and if you don't have a channel then answer the questions below in the description box I'd love to hear your answers as well uh, maybe we'll get some uh, good ideas of new yarns to try so uh, feel free to do so okay so thanks guys for watching and um, watching me do this tag and we will see you in the next video bye